Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Hydra, and this is Rust Console Edition. This is episode three of my medium base wiring guide on all of the systems that I believe you need for a medium sized base. Uh, in the last episode, we were talking about uh, how we collect our power and combine it all together into one. And in this episode, we're going to show you your first build that you're going to be building in most of your bases to get you going. Um, because it doesn't really require too much to get going. Um, and you'll be pretty uh, good and set after that um, to get going with some of these big guys. And some infinite power loops, uh, which I will get into later on. But for this episode, we're just going to uh, worry about the, the first um, setup that you're going to do. So, from our power source, which I've already got hooked up upstairs, we're going to go from our combined power output, and we're going to combine it into this first electrical branch, and then from this electrical branch, we're going to go into the battery. And that's how we're going to charge the battery. Now, the batteries are a little funky. Um, there's a few things that they don't explain to you about this, um, but I'm going to go into pretty good detail for you right now on how to charge this battery efficiently and never run out of power at night. So the most common system that you see people set up with is they come into an electrical branch or some sort of electrical source and then they go into their uh, medium battery. Now, how much battery uh, power do you need to supply this thing in order to um, survive? Uh, the night and not run out of power when your solar panels kick out So for this setup right here, we have a maximum output of 50. That means I can only use 50 power out of this um, and At max capacity you would think that you would need to be at least charging this thing with at least 50 uh, in order to uh, keep everything powered But that's incorrect so the medium batteries, well, all batteries actually, only take in 80% of the power that you give to it. So if I was to put in 50 power into this thing, um, it would actually only give me 40 power of, um, well, uh, charging power. So it wouldn't be enough. So if I wanted to actually have the 50 output in order to keep everything going, then I would actually need 63 power, because 80% of 63 is 50. Um, however, that still doesn't work, because that's only going to help you during the day. That's just going to continue to run all of your power sources throughout the day, and it's not going to be charging your battery at all in order to um, use this thing at night, which is when you're going to need it as well, uh, especially for your lights. So, what do, what do we have to actually charge this thing at? Well, this thing actually has to be charged. Uh, I just went and did all the math. Um, yeah, went and did all the math. It actually has to be charged at 83. Now, the reason it has to be charged at 83 um, is because um, that's the amount of power that we're going to need to supply the 50 power throughout the day. Um, plus charge the 500 power that we're going to need at night because night lasts for 10 minutes and at a maximum output of 50 that means we need to be charging an extra 500 power for the night uh, so we're looking at 83 power in um, now again if we're only putting in that 83 power uh, we still need to um, so we need to supply that 83 power. So you're going to need five solar panels. It will work off of four because it'll give you that 80 power. Um, but five solar panels and you're guaranteed that this thing will be charging all of the time. Um, more than it's draining at night. So eventually this um, battery will charge to 100%. And the only time you're going to lose power is at night. Uh, so again, you need at least... 83 power coming into this thing or 80 power uh, which is four solar panels and that's going to get you going and I'm going to pretend that I have my four set up there so I have my four uh, panel set up uh, it's coming into the battery and then it's coming out of the battery all of my power out is blue 
uh, and it's going into the switch. And the reason it goes into the switch is because you can see I have an active usage of 27. But let's just say it's during the day. I don't need to run my lights, and I don't want to run any other systems. I can run. Uh, I can turn everything off and not have to worry about it. So now all of the power that's coming into the battery is specifically using it to charge it. So this is just an extra way of fast charging your battery if you find that you've run out of power. Uh, so I'm going to turn that back on. So from the power switch, we're going to go into this third blocker. And then from the third blocker, it gets split into two directions. So the first direction it's going to get split into is going to be into the blocker. And the next direction is going to be into the electrical branch. Now, these two systems right here uh, are only set up because I want to run other systems off of this. So this is what's called an electrical tree. And then every time I want to add something new to my system, because I still have 21 remaining power, I just set up an elec another electrical tree, another switch, and then I'm good to go. Um, so why do I have it set up this way? So I have the power coming in. Now when this power comes in from the power source, it's automatically going to take two power uh, from my solar panels, which you can see here, and it's going to kick that into the blocker. Now once the blocker is blocked, it's not going to let the remaining power that I have come through go up into my lights. Um, only once my solar panels stop producing power, so they have to produce less than the two power that the blocker needs, then this will kick off, and the battery will kick, uh, well, then provide the power into my lights um, at night, automatically, um, because it's, uh, this power is always being sent through. So it's going to power my lights automatically. Um, now, this is the only electrical branch that you actually have to change and configure for your lights, and that's going to completely depend on how many lights that you have. So in my case here, I have five lights, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, these lights each take two power, so that's 10 power. And then I also have um, a switch and a branch, or a blocker, I'm sorry, that I'm powering after my electrical branch. So this electrical branch needs 10 power, 11 power, 12 power. So we're going to set this one to 12, and then we're going to set it and forget it. And then every th these electrical branches get set to whatever else you need afterwards, right? So if you're running 10 power for your next system, you set this one to 10, and so on and so forth, and then you have your remaining power afterwards. So again, just to uh, quickly reiterate, we have our power coming into our electrical branch. It's being split uh, two out into our blocker. And then our power out, the rest of our power out, is going into our battery. From our battery, it's going to this electrical branch and being split in two different directions. One to allow other branches to be working, and one to allow our lights to work. As soon as this stops producing power, it's going to turn this off and allow the power to pass through, automatically turning off my lights. And I can always use this switch, should I ever need to, uh, in order to manually turn them off in case uh, I don't want you know, people using it or being able to see in my base in the middle of the night. So that is your first electrical system that you're going to want to get set up. Again, you want at least 83 power coming into this, uh, 83 power coming in. Uh, four solar panels, five solar panels will cover you, and you should be all set to go. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to show you how to have basically an infinite power source um, and how to not have to drain your batteries as, uh, as you're going. So that'll be the next episode, the more advanced uh, setup. Uh, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be very much appreciated as well. Alrighty, boys and gals, you have yourselves a great night, and see you next time.